to Christie's Science Salon. Now, I know we're all still coming down from election season and a lot of uncertainty hangs before us. In response, many of us are wondering how to get rich quick so we will be considered useful enough to remain in the country. And to that, I say, dress the part. Now, to look the part of a one percenter, you need to kick up your wardrobe many notches. And speaking of creating the illusion of wealth, that brings us to today's topic. Animals who change their looks to seem important. When trying to look rich, the central question is whether you're going for corporate rich or royal rich. Now, corporate rich involves power suits that bring out your hourglass figure, you know. So at the next networking function, when a businessman compliments your suit, be like, yeah, I guess I'm no different than a decorator crab who also dresses for success. You know, I mean, the crab shells are covered with Velcro-like hairs that help them stick seaweed, sponges, corals, and other objects on their back. It can really help them blend into the background or actually look like other objects. Oh, and a strategy ecologist would call this masquerading. Kind of like how I'm blending into this crowd here. <laughs> Hand the guy your business card at this point. Power move. At networking events, it's also important to interrupt group conversations. Be like, hey guys, I just wanted to um, draw your attention to caddisfly larvae. Well, these little offspring make hard cases out of whatever material they find in their environment. And to do so, the larvae produce silk to bind the materials into a sturdy armor, which keeps them safe from predators. And these cases are super sleek and professional, kind of like my briefcase. And then let the group appraise and appreciate your briefcase at this point. Be like, the elaborate cases may also keep the larvae secured in their rapidly moving freshwater habitat, just like how my briefcase keeps me secured in this fast-paced world of money. And notice how I've chosen a classic black one to complete my look. <laughs> then be like, isn't it great to be among the 1%? <laughs> I mean middle class. Who needs them? That'll get a good laugh. Just be sure not to let your medical card fall from your briefcase, and then someone could be like, yeah, I hate poor people, and you should be like, <laughs> totally. Now, to demonstrate the aforementioned royal look, I've chosen your classic cape and crown. You want to wear this when you're sneaking into high society galas? You know, walk up to someone in your cape and be like, good evening. As you can see, I belong here. Much like the bearded vulture, who adds material to his feathers to enhance his appearance. And the ambassador might try to excuse himself, be like, wait, oh, did you know that the white feathered bird often rubs its head, neck, and, and bottom in iron-rich soil to give it a reddish-brown hue? I mean, who doesn't look better with a tan? <laughs> Just give him a low bow at this point. When you see someone else wearing a headpiece, approach her in your cape with confidence and be like, you know, m'lady, flamingos also try to look important by wearing makeup, so to speak. She'll probably raise an eyebrow and try to walk away, so be sure to elaborate by saying, flamingos get their color from compounds called cartonoids, which they absorb by eating algae and small crustaceans. Well, this compound is also found in the oil produced in glands near their tails, and to seem pinker, they dab this oil onto their feathers with their beaks, and voila, we have got some hot, hot, hot birds. <laughs> Okay. So, there you go. The recipe for dressing the part. On another note, some of my followers asked how they can actually increase their wealth. Um, well, according to Forbes, now's still a great time to invest in renewable energy, even with a Trump presidency. So just do your part to help the good-looking animals of our planet by investing in the health of their ecosystems. Oh, make sure to wear your cape when you do. Okay. Next time, guys. <laughs> Subscribe! <laughs> We can convert sunlight into electricity with a couple of thin silicon wafers in a sandwich. <laughs> a very thin one. For decades, to get a thin piece of pure silicon, we had to saw it off a thick piece of pure silicon. The saw turns a lot of that silicon into dust. This process is fine for making integrated circuit chips for computers or smartphones because the amount of silicon used is so small. Whether or not the water column is mixed can affect organisms living in the environment. Like, if there's no mixing, oxygen is depleted and then the organisms at the bottom will just die. And Shoshana was like, ah, oh, I hate when organisms die from oxygen depletion. And I was like, I know, right?